Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see the importance of run command in the computer. So whatever the application we want to open, that can be opened with the help of a run command, right? So in our keyboard, we'll be having the start button and R. By pressing the start button and R, we'll get the run window. So you can observe here. So I'm pressing the start button and R. So this is the run. You can observe here, this is the run. So here you can give the instruction so that that particular application will be open. So no need to search in the start menu. So for example, example, if you want to open the notepad. So one thing we can do is directly we have to go to the start and you have to search for the notepad here. So go to the end. So Yeah, so otherwise you can simply uh, write down here note and no, then select the notepad. And if you want to open the word, just go to the here and search for the Windows word. See, word, you have to click on this. So instead of opening the start button, just type the one command in the run window so that that particular application will be opened. See, for example, I will open a notepad. So for opening a notepad, just type notepad. Automatically press enter, a notepad will be opened. Okay, hope you understood this one. So without opening the start menu or start button, so directly we can give the instruction which we want to open in the run window. So in order to open the run window, just click the start and R button. Start button and R. So first one is a notepad. So it will open the notepad. So opens the notepad. And now, if you want to open the word, just type win word, win word. So if you want to open the word of the document, so just uh, type the win word. So it opens Word document. Okay, see. So I have given bin word. Okay, so that Word document will be opened here. You need not search in the start. Similarly, PowerPoint. So Power P and T. It will open the PowerPoint. It opens the PowerPoint. See, start uh, and R so that we'll get the run. So power P and T, it will open the PowerPoint. So directly we'll get the PowerPoint. And similarly Excel. So just type Excel in the run. So directly it will open the Excel sheet. Right. So go to the start, give the Excel, press enter. The Excel will be opened here. Right. And similarly, command prompt. So just type CMD in the run, so it will open the command prompt. See, I will show you the execution. So CMD, so we'll get the command prompt. So in the command prompt also, we can create the files, we can create the folders and all these things will be can be done in the command prompt also. And if you want to open the paint application, just type MS paint, so opens paint application okay it opens the paint application so just i will show you that ms paint so you will get the paint application similarly if you want to open the drive okay so in this one so in this pc you can find the drives c drive d drive e drive and f drive so you can directly open the drive by giving the drive letter in the run window. So if you want to open the D drive, just give the D colon, press enter. So D drive will be opened here. And if you want to open E drive, so go to the run, uh, run window, E colon, so that E drive will be opened here. Right. So like that, we can give the drive letter, drive letter colon so it will open the drive okay 
Next, a calculator. So if you want to open the calculator, you need not search for the calculator in the start menu. So directly by using the command cal c. Okay. So just open the run and click on the cal c so that the calculator will be opened. So c l c c a l c. It's a calculator. So calculator. Next, control panel. So all the settings will be available in the control panel. So if you want to open the control panel, so just you can go with the control space panel or simply by using the control, we can open the control panel in our system. See, so I will just give the control. So the, this is the control panel, right? Or simply you can also go with the control space panel. So it will also opens the control panel. Right. Next, Chrome. If you want to open the browser, Chrome, Google Chrome, just go with this one. So just click on the Chrome, type the Chrome, and press enter. The Google Chrome will be open. So if you type Chrome, it opens Google Chrome. Right. And if you go with the I Explore then Internet Explorer will be open. If you type the I explore, so I explore, the Internet Explorer will be open. I explore. Opens Internet Explorer. And the next one, OneNote. So if you want to open the one node just type one node so automatically it will opens the one node so one node is also similar to our notepad just uh, a small extensions will be there because in the notepad just only the text can be written but in one node we can have the text along with the audio clips or a video clips or images or drawings whatever it may be it will be accepted so one node is somewhat extension of notepad so one node so press enter so that one note will be opened here similar to our notebook a quick notebook right it's also called as a quick notebook and next one is mouse properties if you want to change the mouse properties just go with the main.cpl in run command okay in the run window just type main.cpl so you will get mouse properties you can change the mouse properties let us check so main.cpl you can observe mouse properties has been changed the speed you can uh, change and turn on the click lock the pointers what 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 kind of pointer you need to represent and pointer options so this is these are the different options the wheels hardware so everything will be all the all the uh, properties related to the mouse will be open here so for that we have to use main.cpl in run so all these words should be written in run window itself run window and the next one is if you want to get the system properties then go with this sysdm.cpl so it will automatically opens the system properties right so see sysdm.cpl automatically will get the system properties the computer name you can give the computer name Okay, I will give the computer name as Sandeep Saradi Kantik, right? And hardware, advanced, advanced options, system productions, remote, all these things can be available here, right? So, this is the system properties. And the next one is power options. If you want to get the power options, so you can go with the power CFG configuration.cpl. So, this will open the power options. So, see, I will show you. Power CFG dot CPL. So it will open the power options. See, you can you can observe different questions here. Choose what the power buttons do. Choose what closing the lid does. So if you close the laptop lid, so automatically what should be happens? Create a power plan. Change when the computer sleeps. So sleep time. So all these things will be the power options. Okay, all these options are related to the power. So the power options. In order to open the power options, we can go with the power CFG dot CPL right and next one is a magnify so if you want to uh, zoom 
the window so we can go with the magnify so magnify so just type the word magnify so automatically it will enable the magnifier enable the magnifier right see magnify so here the window is here so you can observe here you can zoom out zoom in so the window is simply see moving the cursor you can see all these things so this is the nothing but magnifier okay the window will be magnified not only not the application the complete screen will be magnified okay and the next one is for the network connections if you want to enable the network so ethernet or a, a wi-fi if you want to give the ip addresses or all for all the network connections just type the command ncpa.cpl so this will open the network connections network connections window okay just go with this one ncpa.cpl so you'll get the network connection you can observe here so i'm having some three connections so bluetooth ethernet and a wi-fi okay bluetooth ethernet and a wi-fi so these are all the connections right so this is for network connections and if you if you want to remove the malicious software that means some some sort of virus if if you are thinking about some sort of virus is available in your system you can simply remove all those viruses by using the command called mrt so this, this will open the malicious software removal tool malicious software removal tool so this will open this malicious software removal tool so automatically we can scan our system and it will find any uh, virus is available so if the virus is available automatically we can remove that virus in from our system see simply just give the mrt in the run so see you can you can have the prompt microsoft windows malicious software removal tool if you click on yes so we'll get that window see welcome to the my microsoft malicious software remote tool so if you click on this next automatically the scan will be started okay scanning all the files and it will uh, uh, i mean it will present if there is any virus and we can remove the virus from the system right so mrt is a malicious software removal tool and if you want to open the device manager so complete system configurations will be available in this device manager right so we can get the device manager by clicking on i mean by using the command called device management mgmt dot msc so this opens the device manager device manager okay so i will show you dv mgmt.msc so it will open the device manager you can observe here so whatever the devices available in our system everything will be displayed here so audio inputs and outputs right and batteries the battery the biometric if your uh, laptop is having any biometric so that one bluetooth the camera okay and the computer the disk drives okay display adapters firmware keyboard monitor usbs everything everything will be available in this device manager so in order to get this device managers all these things will be available in the control panel but if you want to get this device manager without using the control panel directly you can type this letter device management dot msc so that it will be open the device manager will be open right and similarly if you want to open the user accounts so our system may have uh, multiple users so if you want to manage all those user accounts there is a one page called user accounts page so if you want to open that user accounts page you simply type a uh, net plwiz so this will opens the user accounts right see so you can observe here the only one user is here so if your if your system is having a multiple users all those users will be displayed in this box okay so you can add the user also you can remove the user 
if you are an administrator you can remove the user also you, you can give the privileges for that particular user so all the user accounts information will be presented here so that can be opened by using the command called net pl wiz or simply you can go to the control panel and you can find these user accounts and the next one is uh, programs and features if you want to add a new programs or if you want to remove a programs that means the softwares which are available in your system so uh, directly you should not delete the folder you have to go to the programs and features in the control panel and you have to uninstall the software which you need to remove so then the complete software along with the supported files will be removed from your hard disk right so for to open that programs and features we have to use a command called app wiz dot cpl or else you can simply go to the control panel and you can find uh, this programs and feature directly the icon so you can click that icon right so it opens the programs and features right so let us check app wiz dot cpl so you can observe here so these are the these are all the softwares which are available in my system so if i want to remove any any one of the software simply i have to select this one and simply press the uninstall so that automatically the complete uh, software will be deleted from my system so along with the software the supported files will also be deleted right so this is the programs and features and on screen keyboard so if you, if there is any problem with your keyboard uh, you can simply use a virtual keyboard. So the virtual keyboard will be available in your computer. So you can enable that virtual keyboard by using the command O S K on screen keyboard. So it will open on screen keyboard. So you can directly use a mouse pointer to type the con content, right? Simply see, you can observe here O S K. So automatically I will get the on-screen keyboard. So no need to use your uh, physical keyboard. You can use a virtual keyboard by just moving your mouse. Okay. So this is how we can use the on-screen keyboard. And one more thing. So if you want to visit any website directly, you can give the URL in the run command so that the website will be opened. So you have to give the website url so that it opens the website see www.youtube.com so directly you can give the url so i am giving the url of our website so see the page has been opened the page has been opened so no need to open the browser and type the url so directly use the run command so this is a run so use this run automatically just give the website url so automatically the browser whatever the browser is given default that browser will be opened with this url right so in order to get this run command once again i'm saying in your keyboard there will be the start button the windows button you have to click on the windows button plus r alphabet r so See, I will show you that. So if this is a keyboard, so this is the start button. Okay, this is the start button or a Windows button. You just click on this one. So Windows and R. Windows and R. So that will give you the run window. So here you have to give the commands in order to get the particular application. So these are the few shortcuts. These are the most recently, most you frequently used shortcuts. You have to remember all these shortcuts. So that will be definitely useful for you, right? So I will stop here. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.